morning guys and welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage. Today, it's going to be a blah day, but I actually have some honeydew list things I have to do. I have to fix this little fella. It actually works, but you can't, I don't want to break it, but it doesn't move very good. So I got to take it apart and loosen it up and figure out why that's happening. So I'm going to get started on that and then we'll see where the day takes us. So we're in here, we're in here, a slight problem. It's leaking from the ceiling. <laughs> no, actually, prematurely turned the water on without securing the top, and then poof, we had a geyser. <laughs> Guys, don't try this at home. Don't. <laughs> this is what happens when you're a bubba and not a plumber. Not too bad, just one gusher. <laughs> Remember yesterday we were telling you about the little bird that was nesting in my Jeep? Well, I thought I was going to take care of that today, but now there's a little baby egg in there. So I'm going to feel really bad, but I got to get rid of the nest. Poor little fella. <laughs> we got to take that off and get rid of the little fellas before they lay too many more eggs in here. There's a little egg in there. It's totally a mockingbird. This thing is a pain in, ooh, yeah. that's one of them things. This with freedom tops on top of it is not that great. I mean, it works, it does the job, but oh. Hey, but problem is you have to reattach these and these every single time you take the tops off. Yeah. The product would work a little bit better with Freedom Tops if they'd make some slight modifications. Good product though. You think we had it strapped too tight? It and was too pull it? tight. It was pulling back because this gap used to be about that big. Okay. So what I did was I actually hooked it up the proper way, and now I'm able to actually get my hand in here to get to that latch. Okay. Before I couldn't even get my fingers up. Right. There to pull it was pulled it. too far back. Yeah, I think it's it was too much tension for how long these are. So I put it all on the proper way. I'm probably gonna leave it for about 30 minutes and kind of let it settle the way it is. So every time you take the tops off and take the tops 
and put the pop tops on, you have to take and deal with these three here. One, two, three. Plus those two and there. Two. You okay. gotta actually push them up through and then you gotta loop them through the loop on the shade itself and then fish it back behind here and pull it down and hook it on the ball. So yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a pain, but you know, if you want a convenience and luxury, you probably don't want to buy a Jeep. Basically, if you can see, these little holes right here is where the rods come up that actually screw down to the freedom top. So you have to push the spider ball cord up through here to actually latch that. Interesting. Interesting. So how did you, so you, you pushed it up through there and what did you, how did you get it down here? You have to fish it. All right, what a pain in the butt. You want to see? See, you got your spider ball. Right. You, well, it's easier to move that flap out of the way. Grab it and fish it through the hole on the spider shade. Okay. And then you got to fish it back. And then you grab it from back here, pull it down, and loop it over the spider ball. What a pain in the butt. I mean, it's great. It's got a lot of tension. In fact, it's like how much tension is on well, they say, ball, I mean, it's got a, you know, that's one of the huge advantages of the spider shade is that it comes with a unconditional five year warranty. So, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if it gets cut, scratched, nicked, dinged, whatever, they will replace it, supposedly. Now, I've never had one, so I don't really know, but that's what they say. Well, so. truly, this actually feels like trampoline material, same thing they use on the bottoms of trampolines. Mm -hmm. So, if it truly is that, then. You see how much abuse trampolines get. It should last. Right. Well, oh, she out. rolls. So now she's just got to put the freedom tops on, hope for the best, and um, keep moving forward. Worst case scenario, you rip the whole thing off, you go soft top, or just don't put anything on it at all. That's just a Jeep. That's how it rolls, right? Right. Better? Uh-huh. Are you going to be able to get them through the hole now? Yeah, you got it. Good job. Oh, gosh, what a day. I'll tell you. We, uh, we use a little bubble pit. To barbecue some hamburgers and the little pit does really 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 well Ooh, there's still an egg in there ah the egg moved again so maybe they found the nest i think they did babe i, I think they, they found the too. nest that makes me feel a lot better oh yeah I totally agree able to find it totally agree we were actually watching some of our favorite vloggers i'm in tom and the landlord we're watching you guys just so you know it's barbecue time we got our burgers and our hot dogs from the bubble pit right here shelby's fixing hers up now it's been a very productive day i have to admit i got a lot of relaxed time mm -hmm. a lot of extra relaxed time <laughs> but but we did get the JK Nini Spider Shade checked out this time. Yeah. Got a second opinion on it, right? Bobby's been rolling with it for a few days, so we're able to look at it in more detail today. Made some modifications to it. Got to fly the drone a couple of times and test out some footage of the JK Nini with the drone, so that was cool. And I got to fly the drone a couple times. That's right, so Shelby is practicing learning to fly the drone, the baby drone. 
That is the Video Drone XT, I believe it is. I'll leave a link up here. The Eye in the Sky if you want to check out that drone. Mm -hmm. What else did we do today? Besides the cooking and the drone. We fixed the sink. We fixed the sink. I forgot all about the sink. That was our geyser moment. Yeah. That was a geyser moment. Luckily well, they didn't bust a hole in the ceiling. Yeah. So it's been a great day. We've got a lot of things accomplished today. So we're wrapping it up this evening. We're going to get ready for dinner. And it's going to be a movie night. And tonight I'm not really sure. What did we watch yeah. last night? We watched Primal Fear last night. We watched. It was a good movie. It was a good movie. It wasn't bad. So it's, it's been a long time since I've seen it. I didn't remember most of it. Yeah. So tonight we're going to watch something else. I'm not really sure. Don't you eat my burger. No, I didn't. I'm me a hot dog. <laughs> so, I hope you guys like this video. And if you do, please give us a huge, huge, huge thumbs up. And if you really like this video, you want to stick around to find out what happens next, right here on Bubba's Garage. Please subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Face it, you stained your britches. <laughs> <laughs>